Melissa. Welcome back to day four of the 12 days of Christmas. And today, if you haven't, we're going to do my nails instead of on the stands today. Um, and if you can look at this color, it probably puts you in mind of a couple things for me. Obviously, it screams the Grinch, right? You can't have Christmas without the Grinch. And also, I've been looking for a color for like Buddy the Elf's coat. Um, this is Trickster, so uh, it's pretty good, but it's Buddy's the Elf's is a little more truer green. So, yeah, shout out any anything um, that you have out there. But Trickster is perfect for the Grinch, and that is this one right here. It's B487. So, we're we'll be doing the Grinch today. I'm using Cherry Bomb, my faithful red B326. We're using Bam White. Uh, is this Bam White? I hope so. Yes, B170. We're using straight up black. Uh, B171. What else have I used? Um, the new color from the box in November, Marshmallow B537. It's not on the site yet, but it will be in just a few weeks after the boxes. November boxes have been out for a little bit. Um, this is a beautiful color. Both of the colors that came in the November box are gorgeous. So you'll already know that by the time you see these. Um, okay, so my desk is messy. Just, I've kind of drawn you all in here. Now this plate is not maniology, but it was so cute. I couldn't pass it up. And if you go, if you have an Amazon account and you go to Amazon and just type in Grinch nail stamping plate. This little adorable beauty will come up and it was $6.99. Reasonable. Now it doesn't have the, the nice backing on it, so be careful. It is sharp. But I have reverse stamped a couple images and I love this one, guys. Uh, that is going to go on my thumb. Um, that's why I have that one painted green so I can put his little Grinchy. I love this one too. <laughs> like, I mean, that this is like his friends. Oh, that's so cute. I love that. Um, so yeah, I'm an evil Grinch or the sad Grinch, whichever. I don't know. I might change my mind because I got the other hand to do. But anyway, so I have three nails in the center that I'm going to highlight some things. And I have reverse stamped a few things. Look at these. Oh my gosh. We have the Grinch himself here. Um, look at him. Oh my gosh. So cute. Oh, I love the Grinch, y'all. Uh, I'm just a big old kid at heart. And the obvious, you have to have a Grinch with the ornament. Now, a little bit of my ornament uh, line got swept away. So, I might touch it up a little bit when I get it on my nail. Um, if it's really bad, I can always go back and pick this up again right here. And, you know, just kind of outline the ornament again. I'll see. But, uh... Right now, I'm just going to cover it back up. And so, I just painted these not long ago. But I learned my lesson on reverse stamping the other day. And smaller images on getting them to transfer. The other image we're going to do is um, on my pinky, I'm going to put just a little tree. And I'm going to put an ornament, a different ornament from Uber Chic's plate. I'm going to pick up this ornament and maybe do a bow or something i don't know just just something we're going to use this ornament though i think it'll fit uh where is my little thing i don't think this one had one actually i don't think it had the it didn't have the overlay it's a um it's a little bit older plate uh so it didn't have the overlay so i think it'll fit um okay unless i decide i don't know i might do a tree but i'm going to put a tree on my pinky we'll decide we'll decide okay First, I want to do the um, reverse stamping applications. Um, I really don't plan on reverse stamping anything on here, like on this uh, fourth day of Christmas. But certainly, I do have some images already done. And um, I'm super pleased with this. This is something that I will use again. We may have another Grinch plate. I'm also looking for a Buddy the Elf uh, plate so uh, again and also the color of buddy's coat if anybody has any polish um you know recommendations uh, scream them out in the comments and if you are here and watching this please like subscribe if you like hanging out here very laid back here um 
make mistakes, let you see them because that's how we all learn. I don't cover them up. Um, you know, my stuff doesn't always line up exactly right. And that's just part of like, okay, let's see. Let me think a minute. That and that's just my ring and my ring and middle. I want, yeah, I want, I want to, the pointer finger, I'm not sure. It may not be getting, I had to cut it yesterday. But anyway, if you like hanging out here, come and join our little family and subscribe. Um, so I'm putting down some sticky base coat. I want these images to stick. I do not want to start trying to apply them and then like not stick. And I don't know why I'm doing this because I don't have anything reverse stamped on there, but I guess whatever I stamp will stick even better, right? Okay. So while that is giving that a minute, oh my gosh, I really love this. And I think, I don't know, let's see, I've got, which, what does he look like in this one? Is he happy? He's happy in this one. So he's smiling in this one. I think I'm going to do the sad, the sad Grinch. So I'm going to pick him up and I might actually do the, I don't know. I'll see how it looks. I'll either apply it sideways or up and down. I'm not sure. Um, but let's do a little sad Grinch. I mean, you know, I remember this face he made in the movie. <laughs> I just can't remember what scene it was. Um, I love, I love the Grinch. I haven't watched it yet. Um, I'm still like the day after the election. And, um, so it's still early, but I have been watching Christmas movies. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm, I mean, I like Christmas, but it is usually something just of stress for me because of the shopping and all that. But this year I'm done early. So I am got my shopping done and I am just like ready to enjoy the holidays. So it's not as big as I thought it was. Okay, good to know, good to know. Let's see here. This one is a little bigger, I think, maybe. It's a little bit more like kabam in your face, I think. Um, let's do this. Let's let's pick the other one up since it's not going to take long to do. I don't think um, this video will not be long. I always say that, y'all. <laughs> I say that every time. But I really don't think this one will be. I'm just going to do my one hand here, and then I'll have to do the other one myself here, and then I will probably will do a little bit more reverse stamping, but. Uh, this actually, I just was going to say, oh, this plate's picked up. It's done very well, you know, but then um, as soon as I say, get ready to say that, I need to pick it up again, but it's okay. These plates are pretty good for, for Amazon, and I have a few from, like, I got when I very first started stamping from Temu, and um, it just takes a little bit of finessing, and I probably scraped it too much again. Let's see. Actually, yep. So, like a very fine lines. Very, very fine lines. So, I also need to remember that all of his eye, it is visible, but it's a very, very small part of it. Okay, let's try again. I'm going to try to get this down in the lines. Put the brush down in there. I'm going to get another scraper card. Try to not go. Oh, I know what I want to do. That's right here. My trusty double-ended stamper. There you go. That's what I needed. My best friend when it comes to stamping. Um, if you're new to stamping and you don't have one of those little things, grab one. They they are just the best, especially for picking up small things or very very fine lines. This would be an great example um what am i looking for this because i don't want to get polished all over me um okay and let me sit this over here and i said i wasn't going to reverse stamp anything but his eyes really do need to be have some white put in them or they will not show up on my nail so i'm going to do that and it will only take a second so just put a little drop on here I love this paw print. It is one of the best gifts that we have gotten from Maniology, along with this thing, which has been a lifesaver um, for reverse stamping really tiny things. 
really, really tiny, which some of the things I've done for Christmas have been really, really little. So, uh, my poor eyes. One day, I can't remember which was day three or two or three. I had several things, maybe three things already reverse stamped. And I'm telling you, there were a pair of snowmen, a man and a, a woman and a man snowman. A couple <laughs> words. And uh, I like to have, like, I thought, like, oh, I'm going to lose my sight in here trying to do this because the lines were so tiny. But they turned out so cute. So he needed that. He needed the little white in his eyes. So let's give that just a minute then to sit. And I have just some acetone over here. I'm going to clean my brush. And recap this so your brush stays nice. Okay, so we've got our sticky base coat down. This one is going on my ring finger. Ah! Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. I did that the other day. My heart stops when that happens. <laughs> as it should. As it should. Or should here. Maybe here. Maybe here. I think this is a little bit bigger. Okay, here we go, guys. Ready? One, two, three. <gasps> oh, I love the Grinch. I love him. I do. I do. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, my gosh, y'all. It doesn't take much to make me happy, obviously. Um. Oh, my gosh. That's so cute. I love that. <laughs> it's so cute. Okay. Stop it, male. You're getting carried away. Okay. Let's put this one on. Obviously, I'm not going to stop. Oh, look. Ah! I don't think the ornament needs anything. It could be perfected a little bit, but uh, still, you look at it and you immediately know what that is. Oh, y'all, this is so cute. So cute. Look at this. Oh, ah, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, and, okay, now, I'm going to stamp... Um, let's see if little Grinch here is, his, his little eyes are, I'm so impatient. Um, I'm going to actually put a little bit of, oh, sorry, part on, uh, put a little bit of sticky base coat wherever I'm going to apply him. Which way do I want to apply him? This way? I don't know. I'm a this way girl. I, I just always have done my nails this way. So I'm going to apply some sticky base coat here. And then just I go on with the other, and then we'll apply that last. Okay, here we go. Because those lines are so fine, and just having reverse stamped it, and the fact that it has sat there for a minute, those black lines, I do not want them to not stick. Now, if you don't have sticky base coat, but you've got something like Orly Bonder, that'll work great too. I have used Orly Bonder as well. Um, also, I always tell everybody, if you want to see closer, just zoom in with your fingers. If you're watching on the phone, you can do that. It works really well. Um, 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 okay, this is the plate that I had to put a tree on my pinky. I was like, this little tree reminds me of what would be um, in Whoville. Get some new acetone here and try not to mess anything up. So, talking about this little tree right here, just reminds me of what you would see there. I'm trying to decide if I want to do it in red or white or, I don't know. Um, hmm. I think I want to try it in red. I think that red will show up okay. Actually, oof, decisions, decisions, decisions. Hmm, I've got my hand off camera. Um, gosh, it's no big deal. It's just a tree. It doesn't have to be green, right? It doesn't have to be. There's not a law anywhere that I know of that says it has to be. Okay, so I've got to use another, another stamper because the Grinch is hanging out on my little stamper. But these are nice images here. I am um, going to use a little piece of tape. Which is great, guys. If you uh, sometimes my scraper card is my best friend, and sometimes if it's really, really tiny stuff like this, 
you can come in and grab it really easy with just a piece of scotch tape. So I like to keep a little piece of scotch tape over here. Okay, let's see. Here we go. Yeah, red's going to be just fine. And just the right size little tree as well. Look at that. Oh, I'm in the Christmas spirit. I'm in the Christmas spirit. Um, I had originally said that I was going to start my videos on the 12th. But then I was like, well, if they go 12 days, then that'll go all the way into uh, Christmas Eve. And like if I want, if people want to get ideas for nails, I think I'm either going to start these on uh, the day like Black Friday or the 1st of December. One or the other. So we shall see. Um, but I've already got three scheduled, but I can change, the, obviously change the date. Um, so let's see. Let's do... Um, I don't want to do another little tree or what do I want to do? Um, I think it needs to, I just don't, I don't want to do, let's see if there's any sayings on here. Winter Wonderland, Merry Christmas. I don't have a lot of room on this nail. I had to cut it back. This is uber chic. It's a season of joy. If you like the looks of this plate. Um, I'm going to stick with the, uh, First of all, I'm going to put this on my nail so that I don't ruin it. Being silly, knocking stuff over. Okay. I'm so notorious at doing. My hands are a little bit better today. So that's why I was like, I got to get in there and do something. I need to do something. Come on, Grinch. Let's see you and I be really good buddies. You go on there like you should. So I'm going to just very gently try to apply him <gasps> look it's a little off center just like me okay all right i like that so i might come in here and put some snowflakes or something i don't know it's supposed to be him so you know it's just his face so i like it it's super cute his little profile pick all right so all right here we go how many times can you say all right okay we're gonna do another ornament <laughs> Um, I think it'll fit. We're going to see. And I'm going to stick with my same palette of color. I'm just going to use red cherry bomb here. Scrape card. Utilize your left hand, Melissa. Remember, you're not stamping on nail tips today. <laughs> okay, let's see. Me. Oh my gosh, y'all. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Like I, I fell right in the center of that. Or on the side of it, rather. Would not have picked up. This is why I don't cap my polish anymore until I, I've, especially with things like this. Sometimes it takes a couple of times to get it. Make sure that I'm in frame here. Scraping nearly flat. Nearly, nearly flat. And just a very gentle roll. Pretty little ornament. I'm going to get my little scotch tape here. I think it'll be fine. It's not as as big as I thought that it was. Okay, I gotta think about the top of it. It's got a little bit. So let's do it just kind of down here at the bottom. Okay. Got our base down. Shows up really pretty over that marshmallow. Okay, so let's take off. My lordy. Y'all, this is how my life is. <laughs> He's knocking things over. I'm so clumsy. Oh, goodness. I'm thinking about just doing a little white bow, maybe. I don't know. Or I just, um, I'm not sure. I'm going to do the outline right now. So I need black. Let me cap this because I also spill things, as we know, because I'm knocking everything over. Everything over. Um... Yeah, with the black outline. So again, these are fine lines. So it's better for me when I use this, this stamper. Scraping very smoothly. Roll it, and there we go. See, sometimes it will do that, and then sometimes you actually need some tape. You need that little sticky get it off of there 
And this one has about lost its sticky. So let me grab another piece of tape right here. That's a fresh. The best thing to use is the corner of the tape. That will really get in there. And see what I mean? And it's really like right in the corner that you need to get somewhere up close to the image. It will really get in there and get it. I'll cut around through here. My eyes are starting to cross as I'm <laughs> concentrating on not touching the ornament itself. Okay. Good. Okay. So let's come back in here. See if I can make my ornament reasonably straight. I'll line it up as best I can. I always say don't stress if it's not lined up exactly right. So that goes to the very top of my nail. My nail is short right now. <clears throat> and I could touch this up a little bit over here if I want. Um, I don't know if I will. I think I'm just going to come in and put a little white bow on there. Just even it all up. Just I can take this right here and pick it up in white. And then just put the bow in the center because I think it needs something. So I'm going to grab this. I'm going to kind of just concentrate on trying to get the bow itself. Notice I didn't put the lid on there. Because this might take a time or two. And then coming in and seeing if I can get it off of there. I usually use this or a dotting tool too. Works wonderful when you're trying to isolate things on like a full nail. Um, works great. A corner. But when it starts to dry on you is when it will stop taking it away. So let's see. There's one other little tiny piece right there. Okay, so let's see what this looks like on there. Yeah, I think it'll be just fine. Okay, how far up is it on the image? Actually, it's got it almost down to the bottom. And try to put it in the center. Again, we're doing Grinch nails. Nothing is perfect in the world of the Grinch, right? Oh my gosh. Those are so cute. Look at that, y'all. I will show them to you. I'm not going to do anything to him because it is off center and my nail is like not fall straight. <laughs> so he's staying just how he is because he's very Grinchy looking. So let's put some smudge free on here and i will be right back and show you the end result here we go look how cute let's see there we go a little ornament the tree the grinch another little ornament and his creepy little smiling cricket face i love these i've got to get some cuticle oil on and then I'll post the pics in the video. Thanks, guys, for hanging out with me. Have a great day.